Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to update uh, uh, the BIOS version of an HP laptop or desktop. I have done that I have done this in the in the past like a year ago and that video did really well. I'm going to show you later. And but this one is an update, a follow-up, because many comments in that video says that for the newer versions you cannot do the same. Okay, so that's why I decided to make a new video for this. So this is kind of an update for latest version. As you can see here, I have um, HP Elite, Elite Book 840G6. You can see there all that. I don't have many HP laptops, but I was able to get this for this video. So we are going to update it using a USB. Kind of the same process as in the other video, but it's a little more simplified for the newer versions. So this laptop came out in 2019, so it's pretty new. We are 2020 uh, when I'm recording this video. But the first thing I'm going to do is I open uh, this PC. And as you can see, I only have one hard drive, but it's protected by BitLocker. So you can see the lock there. So if you don't have BitLocker, if you don't see the lock there, you don't have to do all this. So you can forward the video for a few minutes. But you have to, if you have it, we have to disable it. If you don't know what BitLocker is, it's a software that belongs to Microsoft that encrypts your entire hard drive. So it's advisable to disable it first before updating the BIOS version. All right. So in order to uh, disable the BitLocker for in your for for your hard drive, I'm going to open um, um, a PowerShell. Uh, well, I don't need properties or all that. I just need um, you. You have to go to start and type PowerShell on that. So you can see the PowerShell, and we have to open it as an admin. Maybe if you are not the admin admin of this computer, you might not be able to do this. But I'm just saying. So here you are. It's uh, it's open as an admin. And I already have the command. So uh, the command is disable BitLocker. You can see as a, I'm logging as an admin. Uh, disable BitLocker mount, mount point and the, and the letter of your drive. In this case, it's the C drive. As you have seen, you press enter and it's now disabled. So we're going to go back to this PC and, you, and we cannot see the lock anymore. So BitLocker is disabled on this hard drive, on this computer. By the way, you can enable BitLocker on a specific hard drive that is not the operating system, but that's another story. I have a video for that. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. I believe it's a USB though. <laughs> okay, don't remember, it was a long time ago. Next, what we are going to do is I'm going to close this because we don't really need it. And I'm going to open a CMD, okay? You can do, what I'm going to do, you can do it on PowerShell, but I'm just showing you another options. So uh, as you can see here, uh, I open a CMD as an admin. So I'm going to do it again, command prompt, CMD, right click, open as an admin. Yes, I want to do it. So here we are, I'm just showing you this. And I'm going to type this command, like I have done in many other videos. WMIC uh, BIOS get serial number. You press enter and it's going to give you the serial number for this device. This also works for Dell, HP, I have tried in Toshiba, Lenovo, Acer, and many others. It's kind of a generic uh, command, okay? So that's, that's how you get the serial number for your, in this case, laptop or desktop computer, if you don't know it. It's also located in the case on the laptop or desktop, but this is one way to do it, all right? So I, I have another command that is important, which is I'm running this as an admin as well, but you don't need it really. It's system info. With this command, it's going to give you, it's, it also works in PowerShell. It's going to give you a lot of information about your computer, like the name, the operating system, the processor, the maker. In this case, as we have seen before, it's an HP Elite Book 840G6. But the important part is the BIOS version. As you can see, HP R70 version 1.02.00 that came out in 2019, June 2019. So I'm recording this video in March 2020, so a few months ago. And there has to be, well, I'm going to check if there is a new version for this BIOS. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, now that we know this, um, we, have to, we are going to use the serial number in the next part of the video. I'm going to record the next part in on my desktop computer because I can record the screen. But everything I'm going to show you, you can do it on this laptop as well. Okay, so give me a few minutes, uh, I mean, a seconds, and I'll be right back with you. Welcome back to my, well, welcome for the first time to my desktop computer. <laughs> so as you can see, the icons are a little bigger, so you can see it better. 
And the first thing I want to do before doing to the process is show you a little about uh, the, the videos I was talking about at the beginning of this of this one. So this is my IT workshop. As you can see the channel, 606 subscribers. Thank you very much, guys, for 606 six subscribers. So I'm going to go to videos. I'm going to scroll down. And here you go. Uh, HP BIOS update using a USB. So this video, I made it a few uh, last year, I believe, a few months, uh, nine months, one year. But this this is a follow up for this video for a newer for the new for the new laptops the desktops, HP. Um, before doing that, I, I always recommend before doing a BIOS update to watch this video first. Uh, interrupting the BIOS update process on a computer. So this shows you what might happen if you do uh, the BIOS update wrong or if something happens. Okay, so I just advise you to watch this video first. Uh, to understand what may happen when you update the BIOS. If you have done it many times, well, already you know how it works, so, okay, you can move on. So now I don't need this anymore. And now um, I'm going to use, uh, you can use any web browser that you like. For this video, I'm going to use H. And you have to go to this website, as you can see there. As always, the video is going to, the, the link is going to be in the video description below. And depending, and depending when you're going to this website, it's going to look different. I mean, all the images and all that. But from here, you have to go to support and you have to go to software and drivers. And now you can choose a laptop, desktop, or anything. Uh, in our case, it's a laptop. And um, by the way, if you want to know to, how to update the firmware version of, of a printer, HP printer, I have a video for that. You can you can watch it. Click it in the top right of this screen. So now we need a laptop in this case, and we click on it. And here is where we need the serial number that we have uh, gotten from a CND command a few minutes ago. So you click submit. And then you're going to see this website for your model. So this on this page, on this website, you can see all the updates for your model. Every update that you need, any firmware that you need is going to be here. OK, so for for our video, for now, we need the BIOS. So as you can see there, we have the BIOS. It says one. I'm going to click on it and we have the BIOS version. So it's 010.05 revision A. And it came in February 2020. So the, we have seen that the one we have right now came out 2019 June. So this came a few weeks ago, actually. So it's around 20 megabytes and we're going to download it. Of course, I already have it, as you can see here. So I'm going to just um, double click on it to see to come to start with the process. But before I have created this empty folder called HP, you can call it anything you want. But in this case, HP is what I chosen. So I'm going to double click on it. So we see the software here, all the information. And we just have to click on next to follow with the process. And now I'm going to accept the, the agreement next. And now I'm going to choose where to unzip these files. So I'm going to go to the HP folder that I have created, which I showed you a few seconds ago. I'm going to click OK. Next. And then uh, the, this folder that was empty is going to be filled with documents. So as you can see here, the icon change. I'm going to open it and you see all these documents and files. OK, so the one we really need, I'm going to do more videos about these other files. It's here, um, HP firmware update 64. So as you can read there, HP firmware update and recovery 64 because it's 64 bits. So we're going to double click on it. To, to continue with the process. And by uh, by the way, you're going to need a USB for this. So uh, you're going to see this HP firmware update to recovery. So we cannot click on update because it, the software senses that this is not an HP laptop or desktop, so it's not going to allow us. So uh, automatically it's going to check for create recovery USB flash drive. So that's what we need. I'm going to go next. And I have already connected my USB. So as you can see here is this one. It's filled with things, so I'm going to reset it. Everything here, um, you don't really need to be empty, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to right click on it, format it. Don't forget, it has to be in FAT32, not NTFS, FAT32. So I'm going to start the process very quick. And now I can I make sure that the USB is empty, as you can see here. So this one is four gigabytes, but it can be any size. At least I believe it's two, but this one is four. Now I have going to select the G 
this is the one right yes the USB the G disk the G um, drive and I'm going to click next this process is very quick as you can see you have all the instructions there power off the device insert the USB power the device and the only thing we have to check well I'm going to click finish after we read this and we have to verify something so I click finish I'm going to open this PC again the USB now it has an, a folder HP so I'm going to click on it and we have three folders the one we really are uh, the one that really interests us is going to be I'm going to go do it again HP it has three folders and the one we really we, we are really interested in is the last one the one that I'm seeing and it has to contain this file firmware that bin so it's a binary is the update itself so we don't have to do anything here just to verify that it's there in the other video that I showed you a few minutes ago we have to copy some files and all that it was more complicated but for the newer versions like we are seeing right now it's way easier okay so I'm going to close this our USB is ready I don't have anything else to do on my desktop computer so now we're going to take out the USB connect it to the laptop and go and we're going to start the process of updating our BIOS our BIOS version on the laptop okay so I'll see you in a few seconds okay here we are back in front of the laptop I'm showing you the USB that we just have created so I'm going to connect it to an available USB and now I'm going to start the computer and go and we are going to see the HP logo in a few more seconds and then I press escape to access the BIOS well yeah the startup menu so from here we're going to go to BIOS setup or F10 and you can see all the menus security advanced UFI drivers and we're going to scroll down we can also use the mouse if you if you will and now we are going to go to update system BIOS so we're going to click on it uh, you can see the version you can see the current BIOS release date so we know that we have an updated version of it the one that we have downloaded from the HP website now uh, it says check HP.com for BIOS update so you can update your BIOS from the computer itself from the BIOS itself but for now we're going to do it from a USB so we scroll down and we have to go to update system and support it from an external device so we click on that and the USB is going to start automatically so this process is going to take a long time so right now it's a good moment to subscribe to the channel and like this video for the YouTube algorithm so this process uh, is going to restart the computer around three times if I remember correctly all this was kind of long it was like 15 minutes or something like that this video is sped up as you can notice so you don't have to wait all the real time that it took but it was around 15 minutes okay so you can see all the process there it's going super fast and then the after this if I remember correctly the computer is going to restart so we finish that and the computer is restarting you don't have to touch anything it's going to come back by itself so you can see the HP logo it didn't press anything and the update continue so it says a step two of the BIOS update in progress so again the computer were dark the computer the laptop went dark for a few seconds then well it restarted and now it says final step for BIOS update in progress so we just have to wait a few more uh, well in this case it's seconds but it was uh, like 45 seconds or one minute after the last restart and after that the computer is going to restart again and now I'm pressing F I mean escape to access the BIOS one more time so I'm waiting there I have access to the BIOS and from here I'm going to choose system information so I'm looking for it so there you go F1 and you can see their product name HP Elite Pro Book and uh, Elite Book 840G6 and the BIOS version is R70 version 1.04.05 that came out a few weeks ago in 2020 February 2020 so you can see that the um, the born uh, of the date well you can see the serial number and all that information so we know we have succeeded so now I'm going to press escape so the computer is going to restart now I'm not going to press anything I showed you the USB I, I disconnected it from the from the laptop and Windows is loading so I log in 
I'm going to go to this PC and we're going to ena enable BitLocker. So as you can see here, that's what I did. Right click on it on the hard drive and I'm going to enable BitLocker. So it's checking the PC configuration. This is the video sped up again, so you don't have to wait all the time. So you can read all that and we're going to choose new encryption mode, best for a fixed drive on this device. Because the other is when you remove this physical drive and you put it somewhere else. So we don't need that, okay? So the new encryption is going to be the way to go. So we are going to select that. Well, it's selected by default. So we're just going to continue. And we are not going to run the BitLocker system check because that's going to take a long time and the computer is going to restart and we don't want that. So we're just going to go next and the encryption is going to start. This process as well takes, took about hmm, half an hour. So it's pretty long. So now I'm going to cut it off and come back when it's almost finished. Okay. so. Um, it's at two, uh, three percent. I'm going to cut it in a few more seconds, if I remember correctly, and then we're going to come back when it's a 99, 98 percent, or very close to 100 percent, and then the process is going to be finished. So I'm going to cut the video right now. So there you go, 99 percent, and the encryption of C is completed. So we close this. And that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to prepare the US, how to disable BitLocker, how to prepare the USB, how to download the update version, how to look for it, how to get the bio, uh, the serial number and all that. After that, we connected the USB to the laptop and we started the process of updating our BIOS version. And lastly, after we have finished, because it restarted like three or four times during the process, we enable BitLocker one more time. So everything is as it was at the beginning. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.